there, my name is Jenna Jennings. I'm with the University of Illinois Extension. Um, and I am here to talk to you about incubation embryology. So we talked earlier in the last clip um, in regards to the incubator and some of the key things that need to be taking place. And that was the temperature of 100 degrees. We also need to have, make sure we have humidity going on in our incubator. We have circulated air or ventilation going on. And then we also are gonna make sure we have our egg turner or we're gonna turn by hand on a daily basis. So right now I've had our incubator plugged in for a couple of days now to make sure that our temperature is regulated and it's right where I want it to be. And so if I look at my thermometer right now, you'll see it says 100 degrees perfectly, which is exactly what we wanna see for our incubator. So we're gonna go make sure that everything is ready to go. But what I still have to do is I still need to add water to our incubator. And so what I'm gonna do right now is I'll do that and we're gonna go ahead and do that by taking our lid off temporarily. And again, I talked to you before about we're going to make sure that our incubator, we're going to fill up the, the channel. So we're going to fill up channel number one in our incubator for today. And because sometimes it can be difficult to see the bottom of our incubator uh, with the plastic rack, we're going to, I'm going to tell you that you can go ahead and use um, some lightly colored uh, food coloring in your uh, water to help make sure that you, you can see the bottom of your channel and also be able to regulate how much water you got going on. So I tell teachers when they're doing embryology and incubation to make sure that they check their water on a daily basis. And the reason for that is we want to make sure that we have that humidity going. Um, if we get uh, to the point where there's no water in there, our shells are going to get really dry and brittle. And so it's going to be real important that you check the water on a daily basis to make sure that there's going to be enough humidity. Now, if, you, if you're concerned about having too much humidity, uh, one of the things you need to keep an eye out on is to make sure that you're not getting condensation forming on the lid. So if you start noticing that on the inside of your lid you have a lot of water particles sitting there, that might be a sign that you actually have too much water going. So in that case, what you could do, um, if you look at the top of a lid on our incubator, you're going to notice that there's this red plug here. That red plug allows more air to come in to our incubator. So if you were to have water particles sitting on, side, on the inside lid of the incubator, you may want to pull that red plug for a little bit just to make sure that we don't have too much moisture going. So we, there is a perfect amount of humidity that we want, but we also want to make sure that we do have that humidity going. So we're going to put our plastic rack back in. We're going to put our egg turner in. If you notice too, on, side, on most of your incubators, you're going to notice there's a little groove here. That little groove is for the purpose of making sure that your cords are um, coming out of there for your egg turner, but also to make sure that your lid's going to sit firmly and uh, snugs to make sure the temperature is regularly right. Same thing's going to happen on the top of your lid. You're going to notice that there's a little groove there as well. So you're going to have your water in there. You're going to, again, make sure that you're up to the right temperature. and um, everything is regulated and ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually put in our eggs. Um, if you got your eggs from a local farm or someone brought them into you and depending on the time of the year, um, you may be conscientious that they are at room temperature before you put them actually in your incubator. Uh, again, that comes into you don't want them to be cold and then putting them into an incubator that's 100 degrees. We're going to have some moisture forming on those eggs then, which is not at all what, what we want to see happening. So we want to make sure that everything is at the perfect temperature before we put the eggs in.